and welcome to the first episode of Crypt Shop. Now, of course, we're not really in much of a shop. We're in my garage, and the only thing really spooky about it is uh, Mr. Bones hanging up here. But it is currently still the very end of August, so therefore, there's not really much Halloween going on here, especially in these horrible times that we are currently living in but that is what we are hoping to change when doing this channel is going to be bringing some just just taking a horrible situation and i guess making it more horrible due to um you know scary stuff uh but that's what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be going around and looking at the different halloween decor that is currently being brought into stores, I decided to add that part to the channel because, well, um, why not? Uh, we, you know, a lot of building is not going to be able to happen right now because we don't really have anything to build as of yet, but we do have our first option or our first idea of what we're going to be building and uh, the only tip or, you know, thing I can give you is based on this, this shirt here, uh, Yes, if that gives you any indication of um, <clears throat> uh, what we will be making. And of course, I have a Haunted Mansion hat, so I had to throw a Ghostbusters hat on because wh why not? So that is what we're going to be doing today is going and checking out some stores and just see what they have and maybe pick some stuff up that we could use for our decor. And of course, here comes the other partner himself who's going to be helping us with all of our spooky Halloween junk. So, with that said, let's go ahead and get on the road. And we're on the road. <laughs> Apparently, I'm scaring people. I am, uh, we are gonna be, ooh, it's gonna be bumping, and it's gonna be, what, what's that quote from Jurassic Park? It's everything bumping around. And I, don't, I don't remember. I'll have to look it up. I'm sure I'll probably throw it in here and then have everything demonetized anyway it is the four of us me the lovely ghoul friend Ooh, <laughs> there we go that's stuck it is that okay with you honey do you care <laughs> honey do you care she exists guys i swear she's not just she's trying to make me look stupid anyway i've got the uh the, the ghoul friend i've got pop uh dawn of the dead aka just dawn and, uh, you know, we got Mama Bear up here who's just... So it's going to be a family outing today as we go look around for stuff. So I believe the first store we're checking out is... Um, Joanne. Joanne, <laughs> Joanne Fabrics. I'm not sure if they're going to have anything up yet. But another one of the stores that I'm wanting to check out, I don't know if we're going to be doing that today, um, is going to be uh, at the at-home store, which me and... Me and my girlfriend went to a couple weeks ago. A couple weeks ago, and um, they had quite a. They had a lot of cool stuff. A lot of cool stuff that made my wallet cry. So I don't know if we're gonna be getting anything from there. There's a couple things that I do want to get, but I don't know if we're gonna be getting them quite yet, because you know bills and stuff like that. So we should be getting there very soon. My arm is getting tired from holding this camera in this angle, and then. Uh, we'll, we'll pick up from when we get there, which this really wasn't much of an update. It's just kind of a waste of breath and time. But <laughs> I guess she could have shown his girl, girlfriend. She won't let me put her on camera. Oh, stop it. She, she won't let me. The the world will She's think she foolish. is fake. That, that fake. I was trying to say it in a funny way, but that just that's going to get censored. <laughs> Bye now. Bye. We will uh, we'll pick up from when we get to the parking lot, and we'll actually be able to look in there. So, fingers crossed. Let's hope they've got some stuff. Okay, we are here at Joanne. Jo that's Shoe Carnival. That 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 that's Joanne's. All right. All right. Let's let's do this. I'm gonna look like a weirdo walking around here filming myself, but I don't really care. So, of course, with everything going on, we have to stay stylish. And uh, I think me and the ghoul friend are going to be matching today with Lemurs. So, Lemurs. That is that is how we're going to be doing this. So, let us see what they've got. 
Okay, so I'm not entirely sure how well I can be heard wearing the mask, but so far, it's just looking like a lot of happy fall y'all kind of stuff. So, we may not be able to do anything Halloween here today, which is kind of disappointing because usually they're right on the money with having things out. <sighs> you see anything? Okay, yeah, just fall stuff. I do like stuff like this would be great for our house. Like this here. Like, hello, fall. But this is actually one of the reasons we're here today is to get some fabric for the garage because we're going to be having it as our backdrop. Oh, my hand's right in the way. As our backdrop for when we do our intros and stuff. So I think these are. I like this one. Oh, try not to pull them all off. What do you think of that? Yeah, it's black cats. Black cats and pumpkins. Alright, I'm going to be making some people nauseous with this camera today. We will eventually figure out how to do all of this and not make everybody want to throw up. Okay, that. That is interesting. Oh, it's all tattoos. Cool. Alright, well, let's uh, do a little bit more walking around. Is it all the fuzzy ones? I don't know. I've I tried babysitting him, and then it, it, I just got. Oh, yes, that one. Mm -hmm. Soft. So far, not very Halloween channel like. Okay, so that was a bit of a I don't want to say a waste of time, but it was a pretty big waste of time. So, um, oh, I've got that. Wow, lines. Uh, we are. Someone want to squirt me some. Hand Don't cleanser. Oh. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> we're just gonna we're we're rubbing it in real good. So we're actually going to be checking out a, another store here. I think we're going to the at home store because they're I I do believe they actually have all their Halloween stuff out. So, well, a good portion of their Halloween stuff out, and we may actually be able to pick some stuff up because I've I have my eyes on some stuff there so we were yeah right now dollar general or dollar general i'm looking at a dollar general um joanne fabrics doesn't have hardly anything out all they've got really is just their fall and barely any of that and what you saw on the uh on that video there so what we're gonna do is go to the at-home store look there and we will probably be hitting the joanne fabrics again towards uh closer towards october maybe late september or just start periodically going back and then just start recording when they actually start having things. But we're going to head to the at-home store and we will pick it up from there. So see you guys in a second. Okay, we're at the at-home store and I have my lovely cool friend holding the camera for me this time. So we're actually going to be checking this place out and I'm actually... Okay, so a lot of your more well-priced items are the stuff that would be down this section right here. Because you've got a lot of stuff here, like if you're big into like pictures, little skeleton picture frame, little like a ceramic kind of a thing. Um, it's only $7.99, which isn't bad. You get all these little tombstones. Each one say, tomb sweet tomb. Don't make me come up there, immortally challenged, funny stuff like that. Really cool looking. See, that's only $9.99 for that. I think you were talking about these, weren't you? 
Oh, it's like that's styrofoam. That that's ugly. I need that. We need that. Haunted house enter if you dare. See, that's all. Uh, I didn't even see that sign under ten dollars. So even moving on, you do get some really interesting stuff. It's pretty pretty well priced, I'd say. Like you've got. Then you get to this. I say that, and then you have a fifty dollar bust. That is a bit on the expensive side, but I'm more for stuff like this, like the little gothic statues. I think that's like $7.99. That's not, that is not too bad at all, really. But, okay, I am actually curious. Oh, he's 24, 25 bucks, and he ain't bad either. I actually really like that. The bust are really cool of the male and female. Those are really interesting. If you're more into pumpkins, they've got all these like hard plastic pumpkins here. That one's like $12.99. I'm really hoping we don't get hit with any copyright. I didn't even realize they're gonna be playing music in the stores. Ghouls just wanna have fun. There you go. Do, do. Ghouls just wanna have fun. I'm get I'm getting I roll so we won't we won't go there but this is more the stuff that's up my alley are the things like this this dragon is really freaking cool he's he's got some weight to him as well kind of made to look like he's got some moss on him an old statue he's 25 bucks so he, he's got a little bit of a price tag on him and then we move even further down and you've got some more like dragon like stuff this guy here is actually really interesting. He's only $18.99. Big. He's got a little bit of weight. Be even cooler if he had a spot there for you to hang. I think. Oh, God. I heard her laughing, and I'm like, I don't know what's going on. It's October, witches. So, yeah, they have a lot of dragon-themed items this year, which they had some last year, but not nearly as much, like Dragon's Breath. It's like a little, little sign. It's only five bucks for that. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. And for some reason, I'm really liking these. They're crow feet. These would be really cool to go out in the sand. Just kind of like plop those in, but they're crow feet candelabra sticks. Um... 10 bucks per per foot that is a bit what do we got here you don't wink anyway yeah the more you go down you start getting into your like party city kind of stuff your hooks anything like that um nightmare bag right here yeah oh there's all these too they have like keep it spooky $3.99, spook on witches. I'm feline, feeling, feline spooky. Get your witchy on, stuff like that. But yeah, here we'll be moving on to the more interesting stuff. Okay, so here are we pretty much nothing but pumpkins, but we actually already have some of these pumpkins here. I do own this one right here. Because I am a sucker for the original. And he is 40 bucks. But he's actually really... He's really durable. I do like him. He's just a basic... Huh? Yeah, that's the one from the apartment that we have. But they have a couple new ones this year. Uh, they may not be new. I don't remember them from last year. But these little... They're like a taller one and then a short little happier looking one. Which are really cool. And I am interested in seeing that skull back there. If that and that skull, that's really cool. That one there. There we go. Hold that up for me. Hold that up. We need that. That's cute. That is actually really cute. Ooh. How much is it? I don't know. Is there not a price on it? Is he broken or is he actually? Oh, that's 15. That's not bad. That's only 25 for him. I he doesn't. Ah, we wouldn't. 
He doesn't light up or anything, but he's actually... Yeah, you, yeah, you put a candle in him. I like that. So, 25... Th 40. 40 bucks for him. Yeah, it's on his bottom. There's a... Oh. Oh. So, he's kind of cool. I like him. And moving on, we start getting into more pumpkins. More pumpkins. Now, if you're bigger or you like the bigger props, you have this thing right here. It's like a stack of pumpkins. That is actually pretty, it's, it's 99 bucks. But I remember me and Haley were looking at that a while back and we really liked it. But they've also got these really cool, real long signs that like trick or treat, happy Halloween, and they're only $24.99. Problem is, you don't know where to put them because they're so flipping huge. Well, that, yeah, that would go right up against the door. It, oh, excuse me. And then you've got this big old gargoyle here, also 99 bucks. That's gonna be a running theme. And I do not believe he lights up or anything. He's just a solid, um, solid in quotes, statue. But he's also really freaking cool and I'd love to have him. But the one thing that has caught my eye would be this dragon right here. And I have been wanting to get this for when me and Haley get us a place because he would look amazing in a man cave. So it'd work for Halloween and a man cave. But that is also, if you can tell, a whopping 99 smackaroons. So I'm really hoping we're not going to get hit with copyright because there's music playing all over the place in here. I'm going to have to try and drown that out with our stuff. But yes, so I think that that is going to be it for this particular spot over here. Just some more small pumpkins. They even have these solid, like they're just blank pumpkins they don't do anything but those are like 10 bucks those are really nice so we're going to move on to another spot which is going to be where all these skeleton animals are so we'll go right over there now okay so i know i said we were going to go look at the skeleton stuff over here but um i actually came across this and i, I really had to see what this was it um it, it's a glass egg it's just sitting here with the dragon stuff and i completely overlooked it but it it lights up so that's really freaking cool. And uh, as we were walking, my mom made a comment. She goes, it looks like amber. And I'm big into Jurassic Park. So I have some a small Jurassic Park shell. And with this lighting up, I uh, I think we're going to pick one up. Because it's only $12.99. That's not too awful bad. And it's got some weight to it. So we will consider the glass egg the first Halloween item being picked up for the season. So... There we go. I turn away for two seconds and our, I hear jump scares going on over here. What 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 did we what did we find? We found a little a little bat here. I like it. It's time to cast some nasty spells. I feel like you need this. I really do. I know. I feel like I need it too. What do we got over here? We're looking at all the spooky stuff. We should be showing off all the cool stuff. It's a light up spooky gingerbread house. Kind of like adorable. It's adorable. How much is it? 50 bucks. That's not worth 50 bucks. Sorry, Dad. Sitting area. Oh, these right here? We actually have some, I believe. I bought a couple. I bought two boxes of those. Ooh, I'm sorry. Um, I bought two of those boxes of those for the apartment, didn't I? Or didn't you, whoever? Somebody here bought those for the apartment. They also didn't have this guy over here, but he is a ossuary hearse i'm assuming i'm saying that wrong but it lights up and that is only 20 bucks it's actually really cool oh. and then that i would like that that reminds me of that thing from sleepy hollow when it's like the kid lights it up and it's spinning right before he comes yeah. in and knocks all three of their heads off they do have three God, I can't get over how much copyright I'm afraid to get smacked with in this place. So I'm hoping over here is more all the cutesy stuff you're going to start getting into. Did someone say candy? Whatever. This is supposed to be kind of creepy. Her eyes are off kilter. And then... Ooh, light up skull. That's cute. Trick or treats. Yeah, the balls would be gone. 
But my yeah. But Haley seems to really be into Who's Haley? all the Halloween pillows. Happy Halloween! Welcome to our haunted house, which I have to say is winning me over, and I do like this one here as well. We are in the process of looking for us a house right now, so this is that is not going to happen. Everybody is taking a walk in the park over that direction, so we're going to go travel over there. So, here we go. So, I'm going to officially just label this aisle Voodoo Aisle. Dad's finding all the uh, hanging Halloween props over there. But, yeah, this one's definitely going to be... You're good. Come on through. Uh, it's definitely going to be... I'll, I'm, what, do you, what do you want? Got me a ghoul for him. Okay, yeah, yeah, you know what? She's her head's not even showing. You gotta like. Get uh, up here, babe. Oh my god. Anyway, over here I'm gonna officially dub this Voodoo Isle because they've got all these really interesting things. They've got these little bags of skulls, and I like them except for the fact that there is human skulls in there. But they have bird as well as rat skulls. I feel like this would be more effective if it was just birds and like bird skulls and all that. But coming down here, you've got like a pumpkin with a snake skin. That's not for me, but I'm sure someone out there would really enjoy this. It is 15 bucks, which ain't, that ain't half bad, but you've also got all these black pumpkins here. This one's even cheaper, even heavier, but it's got a snake wrapped around the top of it. And that is, I'm, you're rubbing my face with a foot and it's not even facing that. It's Okay, when I said get a foot in the door, that's not what I meant. So, moving on, you get some of the other really weird objects. They have like this, I don't, I don't know what it is. It's like a pumpkin. It's a pumpkin, obviously. But it's got like snake or reptile skin, frog skin. I don't, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan. It's eight bucks for that. Got the crystal ball. That one doesn't even work. Doesn't even work. See, uh, see them? See them? You got these 10 bucks for these like alligator skin candle holders, which are really cool. Glass. Uh, more dragons. Like I said, they really have a thing for dragons this year. Which, I mean, I'm not going to argue with. I love my dragons. Snake pillows. A pumpkin that says spooky and beware. Moving on, you're going to start getting into some other odds and ends, like a random glass... I don't even know, a bewitch decor is what they're calling all this stuff. But just a, a glass lizard, ceramic lizard. These would be cool if they had other types, but it's just a hand that I'm having a hard time focusing today. It's wanting to focus on everything else, but there we go. Um, it's got one of those spots for put on the wall. That would be cool if they had other kinds, but there's also no price. So I'm guessing that there's supposed to be other ones around. And then you've got, of course, your witch's brew and spells and stuff. You know, glass, uh, skull maggots. Not sure what that would be like. Uh, wolf's bane. That's really cool. Slightly bitter. Uh, slightly bitter potion used to take the edge off your lycanthropy. Drink at your own risk. Okay, I like that. So we are having a hard time focusing all of a sudden. It's wanting to... Whoa! There we go. I want to make all this go away. My camera's being weird. So anyway, I'm going to go around the pole. And we're going to be looking at some other stuff here. A lot of different types of pumpkins again. Some candles. Little ghost candle. That's actually really cute. I'd actually like to have that not light it up. It's October Witches, which is the sign that, that Mom had here a little bit ago. A booze glass container. And a lot of your um, metal yard stakings would definitely be over in this area here. Uh, a lot of pumpkins. A lot of these are now really freaking cool. Got some eyeballs. Sally, who should not be there. A do not enter skull section. I, like the I do like the eyeballs. I like the do not enter. Park your broom, sit for a spell. That's really cool. I do like these really big candy. Ooh, my hand's right in the way. These really big candies right here are really freaking cool. And this ghost. 
I like the ghost. I like it all. You do like it all? And then you go ahead and you come over here and then you just miss it all. Because it's fall. Y'all. Y'all. <laughs> Look at all the fall, y'all. This is more of the stuff. This would be more like Thanksgiving stuff. They have a pumpkin pie recipe on a pumpkin. Do they wiggle? Those be good on a windy day. Every October we have like at least two or three windy days. Okay, I'm going to step out of this aisle because everybody decided to come down this aisle at the same flat doodling time and they're, they're following me. I'm trying to film in a quiet area here. So we're gonna go check out the skeleton stuff now because I may not even be in the camera shot. I don't even know. But let's look at some skeletons. Cause this is where I am interested. I love the skeleton animals. They've always been my favorite stuff. But let's go ahead and see what all we have here. There's one in particular animal that I saw that I'm interested in. They have this really cool dog. A wild wolf is what it's called. I don't know if he moves or makes noise, but his jaw is not opening. So I'm thinking it either clicks or it's just one of those. Of course, you have a uh, just a Buster Bones, which I swear sounds like a restaurant. I'll have to do that on a Planet Coaster area or something because I do love that. But I also love that this is the under $25 section, and so far everything is way more than $25. But here is the guy that I have been wanting to pick up, and it is the the double double trouble Doberman. Unfortunately, we cannot afford the Double Trouble Doberman because he is 80 bucks and totally not in the uh, $25 section. But over here is where you're gonna find all your fake tombstones. Your uh, tombstones are all gonna be over here, which are gonna be really cool. Your uh, ground crawling mummy hands, all your tombstones. More small like skeletal animals, which I'm not seeing the one that I actually want to buy. I know he's here somewhere though and they someone has beheaded the poor skeleton dog that's a shame and here's those kids again but you also get some really weird stuff like you know skeleton lawn um lawn flamingo that's, that's i actually really like that for 20 bucks that guy's laugh is freaking me out you want to hold that for a second see how that looks you get a couple of those that would actually be That'd actually be really interesting to have in a garden, which we do have a very large garden in front of the house, so that would that'd probably be something to look into. I think uh, Animal Crossing needs to get some of this, get some of the stuff like that on there. But they, they actually have really upped it with the, the skeleton themes this year. They've got these owls, like I saw here, he's 30 bucks. Okay, not that owl. Try this owl. Not that owl either. The owls are uh, MIA for today, but they've got all these different skeletons that they've never had. I'm not even filming the skeletons. I'm filming everything, but they've got an electric eel, which if you hold it down the button, it flashes. He's $16.99, which is not bad. And here we go. The guy that I am actually interested in. If I can have you hold the camera, my dear. It is the gargoyle skeleton. And he, I think he lights up. Yes, he lights up and has like a purple hue that lights down the, down the actual rib cage. And he, this particular one, I'm probably not going to get because he's kind of flimsy. And he's falling apart. And no, I mean, he has bones, but they could at least uh, have a little bit stronger of a skeleton. This one's oddly wobbly. But um, he is definitely one of the ones I've been wanting to pick up. So if I can find another one that's a little bit better of quality, I'm actually going to get this guy. But I really am interested in the dogs. But unfortunately, those are like 50 plus dollars, which is not something I've been looking to spend right now.
so we will keep looking, but unfortunately it doesn't look like they have any more of this, so I may end up waiting to see if we can probably find another one at a different location, or probably just get a better one, get a better one from another place. So, definitely going to pass up on him for this time. They do have a lot of these other cool guys. And they all seem to be, like the smaller ones tend to be around $16.99, uh, $15, uh, and then on their way up, all the way up to $30, and then moving all the way up to like $80 to $100. But you've got like the skeleton fish, which again, these light up in a purplish hue, which definitely look really cool in like a, I don't know, a zoology room if you were doing your own Halloween party theme we did one a couple years ago and our fireplace room was like a zoology like theme we had like monster stuff uh, I had a werewolf head up on a wall that we bought from a flea market it was a big ceramic wolf head it was freaking cool uh, but stuff like this would be really cool if you could add on to it and put it on a plaque have it light up I think that would be a really cool item to have in a store or in some sort of themed room so that is pretty much all the skeleton stuff they have here and that's we're gonna probably look around a little bit longer and see if there's anything else we can pick up okay so we are back at the house and we are going to be going over some of the items that we bought today now we spent about 80 bucks on all this all together and I have to say I'm a little bit disappointed just in the the uh, the haul that we got but as you can already see some of it over here um, just this is more just small stuff and the wind is actually picking up so we may be getting a storm here very soon so i want to go ahead and get this filmed uh and get this all up so anyway without further ado let's go ahead and begin the haul now uh, we picked up these little pumpkins here so me and my girlfriend got uh we we have like a little tv shelf that we have and we like to decorate that for the holidays and we thought these would actually be really cute because we are going to be doing a disney halloween um kind of a marathon here soon which we thought would be really nice and these would go really good you have ghostly greetings and again these i'll show the prices so you can see this was 3.99 part of the the ghoul the ghoul tide gatherings is what this was that one we've got the wishing you a haunting night that one was 5.99 the Happy Halloween's got bats and stuff on it. Uh, that one, I believe, was $5.99 as well. And then you've got the Get Your Witchy on. And that one was $4.99. So altogether, those were not bad. They had a bunch of others that me and her were looking at. Pro I ended up doing it this way because we had one orange one that said, um, You Rock uh, you rock Ghoul Friend. And we were, we were joking about getting that. But it kind of threw us off because... They, that was the or, only orange pumpkin they had and we wanted to do like kind of a theme and so we just did black or white black black white kind of a thing so we'll move those back actually we'll move those to about right here and those will go good on our shelf i got hair on my face uh now here speaking or sticking with the pumpkin theme we bought this one here it's just a pumpkin that has a whole bunch of stuff all over it just says beware boo uh spooky has designs all over it, some candy. Uh, I don't know what that is supposed to be. Uh, witchy, spooky, boo. It just, I think a ghost. I don't, I don't know what that's supposed to be. But it had all these on there. And apparently a little gingerbread man. Um, I, I do like this. This stuff's kind of cool. Uh, we, we thought these would be good. This one was fifteen bucks, so fourteen ninety nine. This is part of the Bewitched series that uh, at home has. Uh, so I do like this. I think it's really good for the price. It's it's really nice. So so far that is the haul. We have these here. These are where I'm disappointed because I bought these. I don't like regular candles. I never have. I've always liked. I I do like my scary stuff, but I do also like my basic Halloween spooky stuff. You know, like just a ghost holding a pumpkin is fine for me. Or a stack of jack-o'-lanterns, as we have here, is enough for me. For me. But, what I noticed was, when I bought these, they were uh, LED candles. So I was like, oh, they're fake. You know, you can see down here, 
that there's like a little battery pal or a battery slot. I thought that was really nice. So I, I went ahead and I picked up the two that they had. And I went ahead and I got them. These were the Jack Lanterns was $8.99 and the Ghost was also $8.99. And I apologize if my camera is my camera skills are all over the place. Again, I don't do this very often, so I'm still learning. Uh, good camera skills and positions, all that jazz. But um, I noticed when I was picking it up that it kind of scratched a little bit. I don't remember where it was at. Uh, actually, it was like right there. You could see part of it is kind of scratched right there. So I looked at it and realized that it is actually a candle. I, I don't know why I didn't think that through. But I thought, oh, if it's got a light in it, it's fine. There's nothing to it. It's just, a, you know, a light, a little lit statue. Uh, it is still wax. It is, it does have a light in it. So I don't know how all well it's going to work. But I'm just, I'm afraid it's going to get all beat up and chipped. And it's just not going to look very nice anymore. So I, I don't know what to do with these. I'm, I'm very happy about them. I love the way they look. They're the style of Halloween that I prefer. However... They are still wax, so I am kind of afraid to uh, do anything with them. But they are still very nice, and if you guys like stuff like that, definitely would consider picking that up. And now we have our last two items. Pardon me. I need to take a drink here. These here I actually put in the video uh, when we were watching them were these crow feet candlesticks. Uh, they reminded me at first I thought it was like dragon feet or something and then I kind of looked at them and then sat there and was like oh they're crow feet and they come with their candlestick crow feet so I thought it was like actually really cool if you could have one on each side but I actually picked up two of them there and I took the tag off I've got them somewhere around here I think uh, yes the uh, eerie enchanted candle holder they are $9.99, and they are part of the Eerie and Enchanted section of the thing. So, let me see if I can figure out. The, the candles literally just say Halloween. But, yeah, I went ahead and picked two of these up. One for each side of the cab of our table. And all of this together here equaled up to about $84. Now, the reason I'm unhappy with that is... If I'm spending $84, this was combined with me and Haley, <clears throat> I'm go I want to actually spend $84 on a lot of stuff. This is a lot. You've got, you know, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces here, all for about $84. So everything being roughly close to $10 a piece, uh, that's, that is not bad little under ten dollars a piece so i mean that's this right here these little pumpkins here are what uh were your cheapest items and then the pumpkin of course this this uh jack lantern pumpkin um collage whatever you want to call it right there is what was the most expensive out of all of this but i am happy as you can see the glass egg did not make it with us uh, I did end up putting that back when Haley started picking up these little pumpkins. She said, these will go good on the on the TV thing when we uh, are on the TV shelf when we start having our Disney Halloween marathon. I was like, you know, those would look really cute. So we went ahead and we just, we just had a pumpkin theme. So more basic Halloween than what I would have really liked. But I, I am still happy with what we got. I, I just wish the candles would have not been made of wax. I know that sounds really stupid. But, um, pardon me, my work surface is very dirty here today. I apologize. Uh, they could have been better. That's, that's the thing. I, I was really hoping for, like, really hard plastic or something. Or even, like, if it was, like, ceramic or something. But if it were a hard plastic, I would have been okay with that. Uh, and maybe it just called a candle because it would flicker or something. That, that would have been one thing. But it is what it is. We have them. I do like them. So I guess the best thing is just be extremely careful with them. So, this is the haul. So that is everything we picked up today. And again, I want to thank you guys very much for joining us on our first episode of The Crypt Shop. Now, I know, you know, the banner and everything says we're going to be doing building, and we are. And But this was more of just something to get started. We actually have picked up a, a uh, projector. 
so that we can put things up on and actually trace things because we do have a big haunted mansion theme that we're wanting to go through or go with this year because oh excuse me we've been wanting to do haunted mansion for years but we always end up just not being able to make any of it or build or anything like that so this year now that we have the projector we can actually work on some stuff we've got some hitchhiking goes for wanting to do we're made, we're even going to try and get them to animate so that they do the uh the classic uh moving arm and then we've also got a another project which i'm not going to spoil that for you I'm, I'm really excited for this, this project here uh to put out there um a lot of it to begin with is going to be disney oriented i have uh, noted um we love disney halloween disney halloween is more something in our family that we appreciate because it's wholesome and it can still be scary it's it's not too scary but it, at the same time it's enough for the kids to be scared but still have fun and for the adults to just enjoy what's going on um me going back to you know the haunted mansion being my biggest uh inspiration for halloween and i used to be the biggest wuss still am depending on what movie or where i'm at but um you know haunted mansion was the first ride that i ever rode as a child and it scared the ever-living daylights out of me but i loved it and that's why so i've also noticed my camera likes to focus in and out i don't know i hope this isn't going to bother too many people um so haunted mansion's big in my heart and i mean they just added the uh, adventures of, Mi of ichabod and mr toad on disney plus and i better believe i quickly jumped on that to watch the sleepy hollow portion because i absolutely love sleepy hollow and disney's ichabod and the headless horseman those are my favorites we've even talked about making some wooden cutouts because it's going to be a lot of homemade props here but some big wooden props of the headless horseman from that and ichabod on his horse and the being just wood cut out to those and having like it's just a disney halloween theme in our front yard um if i can find the video i will probably put up of what we did a few years back but i know with this year a lot of things have changed there's probably not going to be any trick-or-treating happening so that that really sucks because that means the only way people are going to really be able to see what we do is by just you know just driving by and we do have some people that like to drive by our house every year for christmas halloween and they just their kids make them go out of the way to drive by our house just so they can see everything so it's really nice that we you know we're not really doing it for us anymore it's like we're doing it for the neighborhood because we we our neighbors do tend to always be asking okay what are you guys doing this year what are you guys going to do you know next year for halloween and we're the people that you know buys 200 300 dollars animatronics from spirit or whatever and uh we don't even know if spirit halloweens are going to be opening this season which is really bad uh i've seen some stores in locations that are saying opening soon but i don't know if they're going to actually be opening for this season or if they've just been there uh we don't know yet so it, it's really tough with everything going on we're trying to hang in there and i'm hoping you guys are all hanging in there with all the tough things going on you know with school starting back up the way they are and it's just halloween is going to be our outlet to try and relax and try and get you know just be in a somewhat normal environment because we love halloween in this family it's it's big for us so we're hoping everything's going to be be okay so with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it probably wasn't the most exciting thing, you know, watching people go around a, a store, but I hope that you guys got some sort of an idea of props or, you know, decoration. If you see something that you like at, from the at-home store, uh, quick, you guys, you know, want to hop in your cars and go to an at-home store near you, it is really cool what all they have. And if I have, if I can get a couple of the other items that I wanted, like I, I would not mind that two-headed uh, double ter double trouble doberman or double doberman double trouble i don't remember what it was said uh i i really would like that and that big dragon i really would like the big dragon the gargoyle was awesome too they also had a uh, dog statue that they actually didn't have at this location they had it at a different at home store uh that me and my girlfriend ran into uh a while ago so we're going to end this off here uh, I promise we will be doing some more prop videos here very soon once we can start building everything. So, with that said, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you all in the next Crypt Shop video.
Bye.